Uh, today let's look at the Olive Pad, uh, which is India's first 3G tablet and uh, the very popular Apple iPad. Uh, we'll be doing a co quick comparison between the two tablets and uh, see which one emerges uh, as a better one. Uh, just keep in mind that the Olive Pad that we have received is a pre-production model, so there will be a little changes in uh, the final model that hits the stores. Okay, so first let's uh, take a look at uh, the build quality and hardware. As you can see, the Olive Pad is uh, relatively slim, however, it's not as slim as the iPad. Uh, if you look around, it's encased by a steel rim. Uh, on this side, you can uh, plug in your SIM card and a micro SD card. Yes, you can plug in a SIM card and the Olive uh, Pad will work just like a regular cell phone. Uh, this is the volume rocker and uh, out here you will just see the speaker. Over here you will see a mini USB slot and a 3.5mm port for your headphones or your earphones. And out here another speaker with the power button. Let's take a look at the iPad's uh, build quality. It's pretty solid. Uh, out here, as you can see, there is the data port uh, where you can just plug in your uh, data cable to charge or transfer data. Uh, this is the speaker grill. Out here we have the volume rocker, a button that uh, locks the iPad or unlocks it. Uh, it's a it's pretty minimalistic design as you can see um, there isn't much that you can talk about uh, here's the power button that uh, puts the ipad to sleep or switches it off or on and again out here is a 3.5 mm jack now if you compare the build quality between uh, the two devices it's quite clear that the apple is uh, sleeker and it is more solidly built uh, this might be a pre-production model but uh, the olive pad feels a little weighty uh, for its size and uh, there, are, there is also a little bit of uh, creakiness which uh, kind of creeps in. Okay, so now that's uh, done. we're done with the hardware. Let's take a look at uh, the UI and the specs of the two devices. So the olive pad uses essentially the basic um, Android UI. So which means that uh, you'll be getting the same kind of uh, UI that you see on Android smartphones. If you're used to an Android smartphone, you'll uh, pretty much know what, what the Olive Pad has to offer. So you have the main home screen, uh, which obviously uh, you can swipe around to get uh, additional home screens where you can add shortcuts, widgets, etc. Uh, you click on this button, it takes you to the main menu. And out here you'll see all your uh, downloaded apps arranged according to alphabetical order. Uh, it is relatively smooth. The, the touch is relatively smooth. However, there is a general sense of sluggishness that kind of permeates into this. Uh, unlike the iPad, which has a capacitive display and uh, it is very smooth. So if you were kind of uh, afraid that, that the smoothness of the touch on the iPhone or the iPod would disappear when it uh, when the OS migrated to a device with a larger screen. Well, uh, let me put your fears to rest. It's very smooth and uh, it feels as natural as uh, when using the iPod or the iPhone. So, uh, in terms of UI and uh, the way it works, there's absolutely no competition between the two. The iPad definitely wins out uh, because it feels more natural and it is more usable and it's got a smoother touch interface. Uh, now, let's take a look at the apps and uh, the stuff that you can do on the iPad. Well, uh, like on the iPhone and the iPod, you can download plenty of apps uh, for the iPad. However, uh, the number of apps meant uh, just for the iPad is still uh, less currently. And uh, you, although you can download a lot of iPod and iPhone apps, and you will probably have to magnify them. Let me give you an example. Out here we have a Ferrari game. Uh, currently, it started on a resolution meant for the iPhone or the iPod but uh, as you can see we can magnify it for the iPad right well it magnifies it the quality kind of goes down but uh, that's okay I mean you can still play around with it uh, there have been uh, rumors of multiple gaming projects being uh, developed for the iPad and let's hope that comes to fruition sometime in the future uh, another really interesting app on the iPad is uh, the Flipboard app. 
So this is essentially it uses your Twitter and your Facebook uh, feeds to create a kind of a magazine for you and you can just basically uh, browse through all the links that your friends have provided and stuff in a very cool uh, magazine format so as you can see out here. Right. Uh, you can obviously download plenty of stuff from the uh, Apple App Store too and there isn't much that the iPad comes pre-installed with. There is of course a simple organizer that includes a calendar, a notepad. Uh, there are maps available on it and uh, you can, uh, the iPad is, makes pretty good, a pretty good device for reading comics and stuff. So out here as you can see we've downloaded the Ramayan 3392 AD comic and uh, the screen is pretty suited for uh, something like, you know, to read books and comics. Uh, let me just show you a uh, comic out here. So as you can see, you can zoom in, you can skip between pages and uh, it feels natural. So there is, it doesn't put too much stress on your eyes and uh, things like that. Uh, there is also an ebook reader that comes pre-installed. This is the iBook app and uh, as you can see, this again, uh, makes pretty good reading and uh, the screen is colorful and uh, vibrant so it's essentially it's quite easy to read everything out here I have the Plato's Republic on and uh, like I said it makes for pretty easy reading now let's take a look at the olive pad uh, the olive pad also is catered by uh, the pretty good Android market however uh, a lot of apps on the Android market aren't suited for this kind of a resolution and uh, screen size. So you will be uh, downloading apps which will run on a smaller, uh, in a smaller resolution. However, uh, there are plenty of pre-installed apps that uh, come on the uh, Olive Pad. Uh, a lot of them are the Google mobile services apps, for example, an app for Gmail, uh, the market app, a dedicated app for YouTube, uh, there's Google Maps, there is Google Navigation, although uh, voice-based uh, navigation is not available in India right now. Uh, and uh, there are also a couple of pre-installed apps that Olive has put in themselves. For example, there's a GPS tracker. There is the Aldico uh, e-book reader. So, which lets you read uh, plenty of books on the Olive pad. And as you can see here, it might not be, the screen might have this pinkish tint and it might not look as great as on the iPad, but uh, it's definitely readable. Out here I have AGUN's The Invisible Man open and uh, it's readable and uh, really you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't miss reading on a book per se if you actually download books out here and start reading them out here. Uh, let's look at some other apps. Uh, there is of course the uh, Olive Pad has a 3MP camera out here uh, and a front facing camera so you can record uh, videos and shoot pictures or uh, you can use a front facing camera if you're into uh, video calls or uh, uh, want to have video chats. Uh, there is Documents to Go which is an office, uh, it lets you read uh, your Word docs and Excel sheets and edit them on the device. And uh, there are a couple of other apps, there's a music player which is also there on uh, the iPad. Uh, the iPad has the iPod app essentially to play music and video. And uh, on the device, on the uh, Olive Pad, you can you have a music player, you have a video player, you have an RSS reader, and you have a browser. So let's take a look at the browser on both these devices. Uh, the Olive Pad comes with the default Android browser, which uh, lets you do a couple of things. It has uh, some decent features. For example, well, uh, first up, the rendering is quite fine. Uh, it uh, doesn't support flashes yet. However, if you're the video you want to watch is hosted on YouTube or you are on YouTube uh, you can just click on the video link and it will let you uh, it will open the dedicated YouTube app that I showed you earlier and it will play the video on that uh, you can hold on a link and let you open in a new window bookmark the link save the link etc uh, there is a pretty decent bookmarks manager which arranges your bookmarks according uh, well, you, you can basically save your bookmarks here. You can check out the sites you've uh, visited most on the device. You can check out your history. Uh, zooming in is uh, uses the pinch thing. It's not as smooth as you will see on the iPad, but uh, it works. Accuracy is a little uh, 
accuracy isn't well served by this but uh, you can at least uh, view complete uh, you complete web pages without any rendering issues there is a the tint does uh, make it a slight issue the device is at maximum brightness right now still uh, it doesn't look as bright as it possibly could be well uh, the ipad uses the mobile safari version and uh, it obviously websites obviously look really great on it uh, obviously there is no flash support and that's a story for another time and uh, as you can see it also lets you do a couple of things hold on a link it lets you open a new page uh, copy etc if you want to bookmark a page you just click on the plus sign you can add it to the bookmark you can add it to the home screen etc uh, rendering is excellent um, zooming in zooming out is extremely smooth and uh, well this actually feels very natural you know browsing a web page on a device such as this feels natural uh, clicking on a story linking the browser is pretty fast provided you also have a pretty fast wi-fi connection uh, this ipad comes with a 3g version uh, it, it uh, supports wi-fi and 3g however until uh, uh, 3g actually comes into play in india we can't really test it on that so as you can see uh, it works fast and it is pretty smooth and i can say that the browser on the ipad clearly outshines the browser on the uh, olive pad so finally uh, what are our what are our final words uh, the olive pad means well olive means well by releasing the olive pad uh, it is it's priced at around the 22 25k mark and uh, it uses the latest uh, android mobile os that's uh, the 2.1 version and uh, it it generally feels all right but it does not feel like it's been honed to perfection the way uh, the ipad does you know, there are so there is a general level of sluggishness like i mentioned earlier there are plenty of apps you can get for it however uh, i'm not sure how well they they will be served by a device uh, that's this large in size and uh, google mobile services is excellent i mean you can sync across your google accounts you can use all your uh, google services on this device However, uh, it still feels a little unrefined. The build quality is a little wanting. Yes, there's a pre-production model, but I would uh, take that into into consideration. And I just hope that uh, Olive further refines this device until uh, they come out with something that can compete uh, better in a better way with the iPad. Uh, the iPad, of course. I mean, you must have read uh, thousands of reviews and watched thousands of videos before this uh, about the iPad. it's excellent uh, there are a couple of disadvantages of using the ipad for example you are tied down to the itunes uh, software to copy songs to download stuff and uh, there is of course the big problem of uh, not many apps being available for the ipad but as we speak uh, there are plenty of apps being developed and uh, will be made ready to uh, function on the ipad in the near future uh there is also a couple of things the device is much larger than uh the olive pad so it won't fit in one hand you will have to use two hands for it and it's not yet officially launched in india but the pricing is close to about uh, 40k if you take that into dollars so essentially if you have the money and you would really like a great device uh to uh play your multimedia on but to also read stuff you know uh, browse the web in a great way the ipad is a great option it's pricey and it's really large however if you do want a device with a smaller screen that you can also use as a smartphone and uh, it uses and which uses android uh, then i guess the olive pad could be a good option it has it has cameras you can use that for your uh, to shoot videos and uh, capture images uh, so If you are looking for a 3G device that's around the 20 to 25k mark, you won't go wrong with the Olive Pad. We wish that it was uh, more refined, but at present this is uh, the device that we have, and it still is pretty good. And that's it from us from uh, PC World.